So we took on the brand in spring, summer 20 and relaunched it uh, back into the market. And what was amazing is we saw a completely new way to approach our customers. And what was interesting was the mums of today used to wear GC in its heyday in their, their 40s now. They've grown up, they've moved on, they've, their bodies have changed and, and their, their values and their, you know, their mindsets have changed too. And they picked up the brand, they, they loved it for the nostalgia, they got their tracks out of the cupboard. And their daughters of 17, 18 were buying into the brand in a much more young, brashful, Y2K, you know, unashamable sort of way. And, and so it's been such an interesting brand and easy brand to relaunch in that sense that actually there's such nostalgia around it and there's such a following. We really felt that the whole of the fashion market was really riffing up Juicy's iconic DNA, but really had uh, lost its way in that sense and, and was doing something different. So both I think aesthetically and socially was the perfect time to bring it back. Juicy in its, in its heritage represented um, a privileged girl and, and was very successful and was very picked up by a lot of celebrity culture in that time. But I think the reality of where we are now in our timing is it's, we wanted to really shake that stigma of it being just for the privilege. And it really is about being inclusive and um, celebrating the women's body, celebrating who they are. It's not a time of privilege anymore. It's about time of being self-made and actually being really proud of that. And, and, um, and our clothing should, should also reflect that and, and move with the times and move with the culture. We are celebrating the body in all its entirety and in all its juiciness. Um, plus sizing therefore will of course be important. We don't limit ourselves on gender. We have a really fantastic um, representation and fan base through the queer communities. And it shouldn't be limited to one type of one type of person. Whoever wants to adopt GC should be able to and boldly do it and shout about it really. So I think for us uh, within the fashion industry it's incredibly important that we all play our part in, um, in this journey in, in sustainability uh, and a consciousness for our juicy generations going forward and beyond. To reimagine the tracksuit into the 21st century this was at the forefront of the way I considered reinventing it into today's market with today's values. Likewise the Gani collection that we recently launched also echoed that same mindset and it was a really great brand alignment from our standpoint and helped to propel us further into that journey. The fashion market has heavily always worked with very athleisure sportswear brands and women's wear brands and there really wasn't someone dominant filling that space which essentially in it when Juicy was launched it it bridged a gap between the women that don't want to wear the sportswear brands, they want to feel good and wear a tracksuit and be comfortable but actually still look good with it, which was why it was picked up by the JLo's and the Beyonce's and that of the world. It's that perfect time with where we've been in, in, in recent times with, with the pandemic and so on that you do still want to feel good and look good and be comfortable and be able to wear your tracksuit in the house, put some heels on, go out with it and, and that's what that's, that's who we are, we are a day to night brand and, and we shouldn't stop at the track soon. We've tried to bring that at the heart of the brand and the DNA and actually expand our range into other fields, you know, into other garments, you know. Why can't you wear a skirt with it? Why can't you wear a jumpsuit with it? Like, why can't you wear a little bag that goes with it? You know, it's actually about like bringing the heart and the DNA of the brand but not limiting yourself to, to just the track suit. The girl today, she's self-made and we are self-made bosses and actually we're, we're proud of the hard work we do and we, you know, we showcase that through the brand. We're all different bodies, we're all different styles, we're all different taste levels, but we all can wear Juicy in our own way and actually put our own personality onto it. Whether you like the grungier side of it or whether you're overtly feminine, you love the pink and the diamonds, like everyone can wear it and everyone's actually got a place for Juicy. And that's what I think is such excitement about, what's so exciting about the brand is actually it's, it's just super inclusive. I'm very proud to wear Juicy because it, it means the values of today. And above all, like, it's bloody comfortable. I love wearing it. <laughs> Juicy Couture is getting shit done while looking good. And she's a boss and she doesn't care who knows it.